fuck all of you. You're all I'm trans. Same, same fucking difference. difference. Same difference. I have to fight for my equality too. No. I have to yeah, fight for too, my equality too. Yeah. Hey. I said fuck Boston police of color who support a Nazi fascist. You all shouldn't have shown up today. We're with Antifa right now. Protesting. Uh, because I'm against Nazis. Gotcha. So are you against straight pride or are you against Nazis? No, I'm against Nazis. Okay, so do you believe that there are Nazis in this straight yes. pride? How did you find that out? Because of who is at the parade. Milo Yiannopoulos is here. He is a known white supremacist. The man organizing this parade is a known white supremacist. So do you believe that just because Milo might be one that every single person here is a this white is supremacist? This a question and it's not a fair question. I'm trying to get both sides of the story. Um, how are you doing that? Asking questions. Go home! Go home! Go home! You are not welcome here! Go home! Nazi scum! 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 Boston hates you! Boston hates you! Boston! 
Across, across. It looks like the police are sending a message. It looks like the police are sending a message because Antifa does this. Antifa drowns people out. Bro, there's a bright, there's a fight, there's a fight, there's a fight, the front, the front. Antifa's fighting the cops. gift card if you just leave it ain't got to be like this man like I get it you know big tough guy yeah I'm telling you I'll get you a strawberry frosted donut 
You know what? You're mean. You don't get a donut. I thought we could be friends, but no. You're mean. You're not a nice guy. You like all the people that bullied me in middle school. You suck. I don't like you. Fuck all of you. I'm trans. Same fucking difference. Same I have to fight for my equality too. No! I have to fight for my equality too. I said, fuck Boston police of color who support a Nazi fascist. You all shouldn't have shown up today. Are you a Donald Trump supporter? I support the president regardless of who it is because I want the country to succeed. All right, let me put it like this. What if Donald Trump said he didn't want no people coming here from Spain? Would you still support him? Because he did say that about whole countries. He was like, I'm tired of people coming here from whole countries. But yet his wife is an immigrant. You know what I'm saying? So what is he really saying? Isn't he giving people, isn't he telling people that they have the right to hate certain groups and not others? Why would you support a president like that? A president that calls Mexicans rapists and murderers. MS-13 gang members. Why would you why would you support somebody like that? He didn't say all Mexicans. He did say all Mexicans. Check the transcript. No, he didn't. But do you, well, the ones he called that. MS-13 gang members. MS-13 gang members only come from El Salvador. Which are rapists okay? and pedophiles. He's talking about any immigrant coming over the border. He wants to build a wall, but yet his wife can come over here with no problem. Do you think a wall is racist? I think the wall is very racist because... What about that wall, wall right there? What about that wall right there? Why don't we build a wall on the whole Atlantic, Atlantic coast? What about why the Great Wall of China? Wall? Is that racist? The Great Wall of China was to keep the Mongols from invading. What about the border fence on Mexico? Are they racist for doing that? The border fence on Mexico. On their southern border, is that racist? I think it's their way of trying to please the United States who is giving them money to uh, keep them from allowing their people coming into our country. So does that make them racist? They support racist ideologies. So Mexicans are, rap are racist too, according to you. I say Mexicans are rapists. I'm but their government to get money has to please the racists in this country. Do you think a border, a border fence or a border wall is racist, right? Of course it is. Okay, so what about the Mexican southern fence? Is that racist what for Mexicans? there was a fence up against on the Atlantic coast to keep all Europeans from coming in this country. I, I think that I, if that? it's protecting people, I agree with it. Thank you, sir. Let's go. Come on. So, guys, I am a bit confused right now. We're towards the end of the parade uh, march. The Straight Pride community is over there. They're doing speeches, but Antifa and other groups in opposition are over here screaming, Boston hates you. I don't know what happened to their message of love Trump's hate. That's not a message of love. They're literally saying we hate you and Boston hates you. Um, I think it's pretty hypocritical what's happening out here, so let's continue to see what happens. Says the guy going to a protest with 50 people, you idiot. Who's the minority? You're 
You're wrong. You're wrong. So you turn the wrong side of history. You go that way. We're not letting you through. We are not letting you through. Go. Well, that was interesting. Um, there was, I'm not sure if he was a Trump supporter, but he was a supporter of the parade, which was caught on the Antifa side. And they were telling him to get out. Uh, they were telling him that he's not welcome um, on their side. So it's pretty interesting to see that they, they don't accept people. They don't tolerate people. And it's very sad because if you have a message, they have every right as Americans to express freedom of speech to protest in a peaceful manner. But what I don't understand is the principle of their message, how they claim tolerance, they claim acceptance, except for everyone else but themselves. It makes no sense. And that's what we're seeing today at this parade. It's very sad. Hey guys, get a load of that sign over there. Whatever happened to love Trump's hate? We have people that are lined up to come here, some from all over the country that came here, and they're not letting them in to listen to our speakers. That's not, that's against the First Amendment, I'm sorry. It doesn't matter what we're saying, that's not right. Do you think that some of these kind of ridiculous demonstrations are sparking fear and maybe the police that something crazy might happen if they allow everyone to be in here and when it ends? Do you think that might be part of it? Listen, people have a right to free speech. We, we're willing to take that chance. You know, I've, I've said it from the beginning, I'm willing to risk my life to be here because we have something to say. And we're patriots and we're not going to be intimidated. Got it. John, what is the motive of Straight Pride 2019? Well, first of all, was to have a successful event, to have the parade, which they were trying to deny us. You know, we try to fly our flag on City Hall. And Camp Constitution, which is over here, with Hal Shirtliff, he tried to fly the Christian flag. They were denied. We we're the only two flags out of 284 that were denied. So we don't think that's right. You know, we're conservatives and we have a right to conservative speech, which they've been trying to shut out in Boston. And we don't think it's right. Last question, John. I walked that whole parade and all I was hearing is that the organizers are Nazis, the organizers are fascists, the organizers are anti-gay. Are you any one of those three things? Did you see the uh, Star of David flags? How many uh, Nazi parades have you seen where they fly those? Not a single one. Okay, there's your answer. Awesome. Thank you, sir. John Organizer of Straight Pride 2019. What, what, what does this parade mean to you? Is it, is it, what is the motive? What is the goal? I think it's about freedom. Are you proud to be whoever you are, wherever you are? Everyone's proud of who they are. I'm certainly proud of who I am. And if that's a straight Republican supporting Trump, then that's what it is. So there should be freedom all the way around. And there doesn't seem to be with all the protesters. But I have to tell you, no one was wanted in here that was supportive of this because I've walked around for an hour and a half, three miles on my pacer to get in here. They have kept you out of this event today. So the police didn't know what was going on. There was no order. Everything was closed. So you couldn't get, the reason why no one is in here is because no one was allowed to be in here. I'm actually on the straight pride side. It's extremely peaceful. They're not saying F you. They're not saying they hate them. They're being extremely peaceful um, and they're just standing here. So I want to go on that side and, and I want to show you just exactly their reaction to them. It's not the same at all. And what's interesting is that the national anthem is about to be sung by a young girl right now. And they are absolutely just protesting it. One, it's the national anthem of the United States of America. And two, it's a young girl who most likely might be straight. And they're screaming hatred against it. These people hate America and it seems very clear that they hate children and then they're in opposition even towards heterosexual children that are Americans. Over there under the tents. She's singing the she's singing the national anthem. She's singing the national anthem guys. She's singing the national anthem. A little girl and Antifa and the left are protesting. They're kneeling. This is anti-America. This is the reaction on this side. This is the reaction.
Don't be gentle with this man. No pain compliance is necessary. He is not resisting. The man is not resisting. My leg! My leg! My fucking leg!